Well, I guess I should uh, address the labyrinth in the room. I mean, never mind. Uh, on with the video! What's up, YouTube? We are currently approaching my latest build in my survival world. And yes, this is still survival. Nothing creative. Nothing uh, with host privileges on. And I say that as I'm lying through my teeth right now because, unfortunately, what I'm about to show you, I have to have host privileges on. But it's a new save, so my world is safe somewhere else in another save. Um, but uh, the reason I have to have host privileges on is this is my latest build in uh, my survival world, which is a labyrinth. I always wanted to build one of these, thought it would be a lot harder than it turned out to be. Um, but uh, this is a labyrinth, and uh, it was pretty easy to build. You just kind of follow a path until you uh, make make sure that you uh, just kind of randomly turn every now and then, and next thing you know it, you got a whole maze. And yeah, everything in here should be connected and uh, able to get through it really well, and uh, I was really excited about it. And uh, But you know me, I'm a redstone fanatic, so I couldn't just stop with an annoying maze. I had to add traps. And boy, did I. Now, you'll notice that there's some chests in here, and this one has a, has a stick. Um, but what's going on here is um, at the center of this labyrinth, and I'm never going to find my way out of here, because even I don't know my own maze. Uh, be right back. All right, back up here. So as you can see, the labyrinth is very complex, and it's full of chests. And it's full of signs and banners and all this stuff to help you kind of know where you are. But most of all, it's full of traps. So many traps. Um, I was just so giddy to make this because it, would l it let me build all these traps, these redstone devices that I've wanted to make for such a long time and haven't had an excuse to do it. And most of all, uh, I get to do it in survival. Now, the reason we have host privileges on for this video is because Unfortunately, the way I designed it is a lot of fun to play in, but uh, it's also A, really hard, and B, not easy to reset. Uh, putting all the items back where they belong, resetting the traps, all of that is um, kind of difficult, if not impossible. So unfortunately, with its current design, if any of my friends decided to randomly log in like they haven't done that in years but if they decided to um, then if they wanted to have a go at it I have to reload the game in either creative or at least with host options on because I need keep items on. The reason I need keep items on is because uh, the goal of the labyrinth as always is get to the center but that's that's not all. So if you get to the center here, you'll know because you got this uh, this weird cracked wall right here, and you'll come across uh, a chest, and it says present your tributes here. Wrong item, check lost and found, we'll get into that in a second. And what this is, is if you saw my video about traps, um, I was very proud of this one build where you had to put the correct item into the chest, and it would unlock a door. And if you put the wrong item in, it set off a trap and killed you pretty efficiently. So what I decided to do here was step it up. This requires three items. Three specific items have to be put through here uh, for it to open. Um, I didn't do a good job of prepping myself by having said three items ready to go to show you. Uh, so I'm just going to just magically make them appear right now. Oh, look at that. Magically, the three items just uh, appeared in my inventory. So uh, I'm kind of giving away the secrets of the labyrinth right now, but I can change the items anytime I want. So if you'll see here, I'll put the three items in and uh, door opens. Now we're in the center and uh, there's no prize yet. I haven't I haven't put a prize in the center yet, but there's also currently I'm going to try to figure out a more creative way, but there's also a way to escape. You just kind of climb over this bridge here and now you can see the full labyrinth in all its glory as you walk to the uh, front of the the whole thing and uh, celebrate your victory. And also you'll notice that the doors are open, but we'll get into that in a second. That's the goal of the labyrinth is to not just find the center, but find the three items within it. So let me reset everything and uh, I'll get uh, more into the whole process of how it works. 
So down here below everything is, uh, well, my favorite three things in the world, item sorters. Yep, three item sorters and a hole apparently. Three item sorters to be exact. Uh, and the way that they're working is that they're uh, currently empty, so there's no power coming to these uh, comparators. Uh, and it, this redstone torches right here, these three redstone torches, are what are holding the door closed up above. So, when you put an item in, and I didn't even get a chance to do this because I did all three items at once, but there's also a chime that will go off when you do a correct item. So, if we go ahead and put in a list oak sap sapling you see here that it turns off this torch there was a chime you could barely hear it it turns off this torch but these two are still powering the door so you got to turn off all three to get the door open so that's how the three items work just three item sorters with uh the three items that you want all prepped and ready to go uh, and uh as simple as that and then you've got a a, a nice little uh, on off power switch by this to open or close the door uh, however you see fit. Now over here we have what happens if uh, the item is not one of the three items. Now, like any item sorter, you would have a dump chest for anything that doesn't get sorted. So this is for if you were to put the wrong item in. Now this is not a very elaborate trap. This is not something very interesting. It's just more there as a warning that, hey, you got the answer wrong, don't do it again. So let's go ahead and put, uh, let's just put a torch in there and see what happens. So we get a bad noise and we get a lingering potion of poison. So I'm dying. I'm also not dying. So I wonder if I've got some of my settings. Uh, it's on hard and adventure. So I apparently it's just not a very strong poison. So I'll have to work on that later. There's also potions of harming that are lingering and those will kill you, but that's what happens if you put the wrong item in. Now, some of the items have tricks behind them. I kind of don't want to give away all my secrets, but what's the fun in keeping them? Uh, you guys are going to get to play this. Um, but some of the items uh, say uh, you might want them back. They might not be the right item, but you might want them back. And that's where this comes in. So let's say you put the wrong item in, but you want it back. Over here, a little ways away, is a lost and found. And what that is, is uh, if you've seen my videos, there's always an item elevator. There's an item elevator underneath that the item that set off the poison is now in. And the best part is the chest is actually closed. The way I've got it designed is when you open it up, your uh, item comes up with it. So if you've dropped in a couple things, you have to keep opening it to get them all. Um, obviously there's, I only dropped in one thing, so it only gave me one thing, but if you put in a couple things, you'll only get one at a time. So you have to keep checking it or come back to it, um, over time. Um, so that's a cool little method to make sure that the items aren't lost. However, um, the items can be lost in traps and that's why I had to turn on keep inventory because there are a lot of traps that will not only kill you, but will take away all of your items. Now, if you happen to be holding the right items when that happens, uh, you're gonna be in uh, some deep doo-doo because you now lost the item. There's only one in the entire labyrinth. So unfortunately, right now I have to, um, I have to keep inventory on, but uh, you know, you would probably build something like this more in creative anyways. This isn't really a smart thing to build in uh, survival. Uh, oh, another thing too is I usually turn on adventure mode. Um, adventure mode is so that you can't do what I just did. You can't break the blocks. Uh, I'm on adventure mode right now, but I used a pickaxe. And what you're supposed to do is when you start the game, you, you notice that there's two iron doors right here. You go inside um, and you dump everything. No armor or tools allowed in the labyrinth. Yeah. So you dump everything in here. You take uh, fish with you so you can eat, but that's it. But everything else uh, has to go in there. I'm not going to do that for this video because I'm just trying to give an example. But uh, And then there's four beds. Uh, hopefully uh, I can either set it tonight or it becomes night so you sleep here. But now you're trapped in this room because you can't get out the iron doors uh, without a button and there's no button here. Um, there's a button here, but all that does is open up the main doors. Now you'll notice when I came through here when I got to the center 
that these doors were open. And that's because that's part of the, the, the game is that by opening the center of the labyrinth, you also open the front doors and you can finally leave. So, um, but for right now you're stuck. So your only choice is to keep pushing on through through the labyrinth. So for the sake of it, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff here. And like I said, we're not saving this this game. I'm not even gonna get rid of this. Uh, and we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about traps. So as you navigate this very complex labyrinth, um, you will come across a lot of chests. And what I decided to do for traps, now normally you would think trip wires, pressure plates, uh, stuff like that. I decided to get a little creative and do something that people weren't expecting. And so since the key to this labyrinth is finding the three items, there's about 20 chests in here, not all of them, um, are dangerous, but they have false items in it and also uh, some are trapped. And the way that that works is uh, it's not a trapped chest, um, but if you open the, uh, open the chest, you can see that there's a book in here, The Labyrinth's Tale. So we might want to take that uh, because maybe it'll help us in some way, or maybe it's one of the items. Uh, so we take it out and oh boy. Now again, I'm in adventure mode, so I can't actually put out this fire. I can't, so I'm either gonna have to drudge through that if I want this item or uh, put it back. So you might say, let's sacrifice a fish and the trap is closed. So this is where I decided to kind of mess with people a little bit by making traps based on the chests, not on uh, trip wires. There's a couple of those in here, but but for the most part, it's about the the chests and taking the wrong items or taking items like this because this book actually has a riddles in it, and if you can figure out those riddles, it'll tell you what the three items are. Now I'm not going to spoil that in this video. So that's how most of the traps work. There's uh, one or two others that I'll get to, but I'm just gonna wander around the labyrinth and uh, activate some of these traps. And since that'll be a very long video, not that I'm not known for running long on videos, we're just gonna do it instead with a fancy little montage. I think you can see what I mean by resetting the labyrinth after somebody plays is uh, kind of impossible. That's just some of the many ways you can die in my labyrinth. Oh, and you will die. I don't care how good you think you are. 
it, it, this place is designed to kill you at least once. Lots of fun. Uh, recommend trying to build one yourself because uh, <laughs> it was uh, it was definitely um, a fun project for a couple of days there, but uh, not as hard as you'd think. And uh, I'm really proud of it. So I wish I, I had some friends that would come and try to solve it for me, but uh, you know, it does need a little tweaking. I might change some things around and add more traps. And uh, not to mention, I didn't give away all of my secrets. There's a, quite a few secrets in here that uh, are a little fun. Uh, things that uh, if you can't figure it out, you're never going to get the center door open. So yeah, it's meant to take some time. It's meant to, to meant to frustrate you. It's meant to be fun in a frustrating way. But for the most part, you know, it was a fun build. And that's what matters. So with that, I'll uh, let you guys go. If you have any more questions about it or any kind of uh, advice, uh, I'd be glad to hear it in the comments. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.